Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Paris episode with Bisco on GTA 5. Now this was during one of the race and special races. Uh, shall we say this was actually after it just finished with messing about. The truck gets pinged off the turbine. The tank that was there gets launched to space and comes crashing back down on the nose of the truck to explode it. You couldn't do that one better if you tried, uh, particularly, so well done on that one with a flying tank. Well, we move next on to a cyberpunk with hyperhelium. I mean, you can have a guess what might possibly occur on this one, because while it's fun to drive around, sometimes you do, th sometimes you hit things and the game just decides, you know what, we're going to launch you to space. Yes, we're going to send the car flying halfway across the map for no reason. Uh, <laughs> I was expecting it to ping off of like a curb or something, but no, no, it just drove normally. I mean, the back end, the damage is quite impressive actually on the back of that car, but uh, there we go. Roger that that super fan is up next on Just Cause 4. Now, they have called it a boat. You know, you have that, the thing turns up in a cargo container. Admittedly, it is a very large boat that's apparently in that cargo container. The thing is, it's managed to be perfectly timed to land on the back of a trawler, I guess. Now, that's not supposed to be on there and neither is the boat particularly happy about uh, trying to spawn in when it's on the back of a trolley. Now it can't spawn in yet, I guess it's too smaller an area, uh, so far and away, I think it was a boosters or whatever, and oh there's the boat but it's spawned inside the trawler and physics is all very very angry. I mean that is a very large boat uh, that has <laughs> gone off into the distance. Uh, oh they do eventually free themselves and the boat is upside down. It's not gone well for that particular one. Uh, we have a uh, little drift on Need for Speed Heat. Uh, this is trying to get away from the police, but it has got away from the police, got up onto the uh, sort of monorail thing, goes wrong, well, gets it wrong, falls off and it lands upside down. Now, okay, fair enough, that happens. The thing is, the game decided not to bother resetting the car that is now stuck, full turtle, uh, not able to go anywhere with police around. Yes, the police are not best pleased with this vehicle. The thing is, though, they don't know what to do either, because this is not supposed to happen in the game. The car is stuck upside down and the police are just all parked around it. <laughs> Three Corvettes, four Corvettes, a couple of sort of normal cruisers as well have turned up. Nobody really knowing what to do at this particular moment in time. We're just kind of all chilling around. Um, yeah, that's definitely not. Now, an, a racer comes ploughing through it, rolls the car over onto its wheels, and the second it's on its wheels, then they get arrested. <laughs> so, yeah, the racers screwed that one up. Uh, Jeremy Boy up next on Horizon 4 is playing around with the props, gets things wrong on a loop, and McLaren wants to do a little bit of a spin. Yes, we're going to continue the spin. Now, I've seen this occasionally happen with vehicles at Horizon 4. This might be the longest, though, I've seen a car continue spinning. It looks for a second like it's going to fall over, keeps going. Oh, we're going to twist again and again. It's, it's rather impressive, really. Captain Aaron up next on Car X Drift. Now, look in the distance ahead. There is a car gets things wrong, goes for a big crash. Now, it's well off the circuit, but physics has again had enough of the shenanigans and decides to chuck it across and take out the car that uh, was beside... There's a truck. Apparently, there's trucks in this game. Cool. But the random spinning takeout is quite impressive. Uh, Nia up next is on iRacing, gets things wrong with the BMW, is out wide, almost gathers it all back up, but a brush on the wall is enough to launch the car into a huge tumble. I'm not quite sure that's what the brush on the wall would do. No, no, not sure on that one. Uh, but I am sure as that's a very, very poorly BMW. It wasn't a good looking BMW to start with. Sorry, the grills are hideous. As I say, sorry, no one likes the grills. I don't know why anyone would. Uh, <laughs> hideous car. Uh, Lambo up next on Project Cars 2. Learning why a high speed jaunt down a road is dangerous. Um, yeah, don't mess around with supercars on. So I guess normal, more normal roads uh, is a very good example. It uh, just loses control of the Audi uh, going over the crest, and once it's lost control, can't gather it back up in time, and there we go for a big tumble. I feel like I've watched how somebody's wrecked their supercar after buying it ten minutes ago. Uh, yeah, that's a big, that's a big shunt. Just, just from slightly losing the back end and trying to gather it all back in. And Nexus up next on Grid 2 with the almost luckiest escape. So, heading up towards the final corner, I've actually seen a few issues on this corner. I've seen a few clips off from this corner. But things have gone wrong for the Sylvia uh, as it's turning in. Now, it's heading towards a signpost that I think is insta-death. Uh, amazingly, the car manages to go between... I didn't know there was a hitbox that would have let it happen, but it goes between the posts, underneath the top, just slightly pings off of one. Sadly, it would have been an amazing 
recovery, if it wasn't for the fact there was a rock there anyway. So it survives death by signpost only to have death by rock anyway, but it was still pretty damn cool, I'll say that much. Stuntman up next on Red Dead Redemption is trying to uh, recover a wagon for somebody, shoots out the person that's stolen it, and it comes to a rest. The thing is, it goes to a rest next to some other NPCs that apparently weren't very happy. They <laughs> rolled the wagon over and then <laughs> it's destroyed and the mission's failed. <laughs> Just NPCs, you don't mess with them. You you don't you don't mess with them. They do always win. And finally, we have uh, Mike on Red Dead Redemption Two. Now, this is I believe a modded version, judging by the fact it has a speedo up at the top, which would normally happen. But I don't know if that's having any effect on this train or what. What I am going to say is what the train does here is not what should happen. This should be the end of the tracks. Nobody told the train this. Nope. The train is going to continue going off into the forest. Uh, unfortunately, the poor horse uh, is uh, now just fallen over uh, and gets wiped out by the tree. And this has now created a completely new game. I sort of love how there's like a fox is somehow on the back of here as well. But it's created a whole new game. It's now like a one of those terrible mobile phone runner games where you've got to dodge the bits of scenery that's coming towards you because I mean, this is Red Dead, you hit a tree or something, you fall over. Um, yeah, that's quite a lot of scenery as well now for this track. <laughs> don't ask. I don't know. I don't know how it's working. I don't know why it's working. This is definitely not how the game is supposed to be played. I just, just about got through that uh, that gap on that one. You pause it, have a look at the map, and it's. I mean, that's not where the train is supposed to be. That's where the track stops. Uh, the, the the train is still going. A bad time to pause because there's oh, there's two, there's three. Oh, and Arthur's fallen off. Uh, it's, no, we all went quickly climb back up, and you might still just about be able to get back on the train again in this one. But uh, might be my favourite. Oh, that's a tree there as well. That's gonna hurt. It uh, might be one of my favourite clips I've had from this series. Another bit of wildlife ends up on the train, and that one there will be the end of our train adventure. But uh, yeah, that is quite something. I mean, it's got a path. It's kind of following some sort of path. I don't know. I don't know. It's wacky and weird and about perfect for <laughs> this series. That, though, is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit, you can via a Google form. There is a link to, uh, to that in the description of this video. And I'll make you can find all the rules and how it all works. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.